Okay, so in today's Roblox one second video, we'll actually be becoming a weekend card curry. And to do this, we're gonna have to complete a bunch of steps, but I actually need you guys to complete the steps as well. So I need you guys to destroy that like button and subscribe. Let's get 2k likes and yeah, let's get right into the video. So here are the steps we're gonna have to take. So yeah, step one is to actually get card curry's devil fruit, of course. So to get card curry's devil fruit, we're gonna have to grind for a ton of cash, go to Logan and actually keep spinning for a random devil fruit until we get the mochi fruit, because yeah, that's the fruit. And mochi fruit is pretty rare to get in this game, so it might be pretty hard to do depending on our luck though we can do it now step two is to actually awaken the mochi fruit as well because yeah we're becoming awakened katakuri so to do this we're gonna have to first level up our observation hockey to actually get future sight observation hockey because that's hockey that you know katakuri does use and we actually need this to awaken our mochi fruit and next we're also gonna need 11,000 gems and once we have all of that we can finally awaken the mochi fruit but that's not it Step three is to actually get both of Katakuri's drops. So in this game, there is a Katakuri boss. So we're just gonna have to keep farming him until we get his Candy Scarf drop and his Mogra Trident drop. Because yeah, Katakuri does use a Trident weapon and he's always wearing this uh, little scarf. And in this game, the scarf does get some pretty good stat buffs and the Mogra Trident is a pretty decent weapon. So yeah, those are steps. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And let's just get right into the video. We're in the game and the update just dropped for Mochi Waking. So I'm just gonna start off by grinding gems since it's probably gonna be the hardest thing to do. So see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so after way too many hours of grinding, we finally have 10,000 gems. But we also have 2 billion cash. So let's spin for the Mochi fruit. Bro, that's actually just insane. You guys just saw that. So we never got the mochi fruit from 2 billion cash, but you guys saw what we just got. We got a dragon fruit, which is even rarer than mochi fruit. One of the rarest fruits in the game. Super lucky, but I guess that's kind of unlucky since it's not the mochi fruit, though. Let's go grind for some cash. So throughout the video, we're going to be grinding kid for cash since he does give a ton of cash. So here we go. So we killed Kid and have 1.5 billion cash, almost 1.6 billion, so here we go. And after all the spins, we never got a single good or rare fruit, which is pretty unlucky, but once again, we did get a dragon fruit on our like spins earlier so that's pretty lucky though let's continue grinding We got 1.6 billion cash from killing kids, so let's spin for the mochi fruit. We're done spinning, and with all the spins, the only good fruits we got were like one or two rubber fruits, so yeah, not bad, but. That's not what we want, so let's continue grinding. Once again, we have a ton of cash, so let's spin for the mochi fruit. Done spinning and ooh, on our second last spin, we actually did just get a mythical fruit. I'm pretty sure the dark fruit is actually the same rarity as the mochi fruit. So yeah, we got a fruit that's equal to mochi and rarity, but unfortunately, this isn't the fruit that we want. So yeah, we're gonna have to kill kid again and hope to get the mochi fruit. On 
we're back at Lowton again with a 1.5 billion car sign. Yeah, it's time to spin for the much fruit. Okay, so as you guys just saw there, we did actually get another mythical fruit, so we did just get the paw fruit, which is pretty rare and lucky, though. Yeah, let's continue spinning. So you guys just saw that, we finally got the mochi fruit. What's our luck? Within those 20 spins, we got two mythical fruits. So, of course, as you guys saw, we got the Buddha fruit as well, I think. And, yeah, we did actually get a Buddha fruit. But more importantly, you guys saw it right there, we got the mochi fruit dude let's go dude i don't know what's with our luck we literally got three mythical fruits within that 1.5 billion cash worth of spins the only reason let's reset our dragon fruit and eat the mochi fruit so actually did have to actually head up to the ice island right over there and grind for like 500 million cash because we never had enough cash to reset our double fruit though anyways here we go it's time to reset the dragon fruit it's gonna hurt because this thing is one of the rarest fruits in the game though it's whatever we removed it and it's time to eat the beautiful mochi fruit and boom there we go now that we have the mochi fruit we still need to get future sight hockey because that is actually a requirement to awaken our mochi fruit so yeah let's go to the second seat and get future sight hockey so we're at the island zo and here's the observation hockey trainer so here we go hey i can teach you the advanced secrets of observation hockey if you have enough hockey so here we go would you like to upgrade your observation hockey it requires a hockey level of 1500 which we obviously have more than that so here we go let's accept this quest for observation hockey so whoa we have to get we have to kill all of this stuff, so yeah, I'll just put this on like two times speed once all the stuff's dead. And there we go, we completed the quest, so let's see if we have it, so boom, let's press T, and okay, I'm definitely a lot faster, but this doesn't seem like future sight, so I'm pretty sure there's one request, so let's check it out. So let's talk to the trainer, and here we go, here I can teach you future sight, and yuck, there is a third stage observation hockey, so that's pretty cool, and it requires 2k hockey, which we have, so here we go, let's accept the quest, and okay, I'm pretty sure this thing, yup, it's CP9 members, which is actually over there at NES lobby, so let's head over there, and so we're at NES lobby, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this on like a pretty big time lapse until we're done the future site quest so here we go So I just skipped some of the time lapse because killing the strong CP9 members was taking way too long though. Anyways, here we go, the final NPC for future site hockey. And there we go, we have it, so let's try it out. And boom, look at this, there's like a little outline and look how fast I'm pretty sure this outline should like kind of help us predict our opponent's moves basically into the future because when, you know, animation plays, their little outline will probably change. So yeah, we got Future Sight. So we're at the Gem Merchant now, ready to awaken our Mochi Fruit. And in case you guys are wondering why we actually need Future Sight for this, basically if you don't have Future Sight, the Gem Merchant literally doesn't let you awaken your Mochi Fruit. Like it says something along the lines of your observation hockey isn't strong enough. But anyways, here we go. Let's see how many gems it costs to awaken our first move. So it costs... Okay, it doesn't even say. But anyways, there we go. We just awaken our first move. And it's time to awaken our second move. Here we go, Gem Merchant. Give me my second move for my Mochi Awakening. And boom, awaken our second move. And it's time to awaken our third move now. And I'm pretty sure there's like seven awakened Mochi moves. So yeah, awakened Mochi does have a ton of moves. So here we go, just like that, we awaken our third move. And it's time for our fourth awakened Mochi move. And now for the next awakened Mochi move, we only have 3,200 gems left. So let's see, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be running out of gems soon. Though here we go awakened and yeah another move awakened time to awaken our next move and i'm not even sure if we have enough gems to awaken it though yeah we have 200 gems so that might not be enough though anyways here we go let's just try it out and yeah we need 1500 gems so i'm just gonna go ahead and yeah farm some gems okay so i've just been grinding gems for a while now for like i'm pretty sure it's been like two-ish hours and yeah i was grinding at outlaw island which is because i actually wanted to try a new gem farming method because the one i used earlier in the video was just taking really long 
But this new gem farming method that was just using right now actually gave me almost 3 billion cash as well. So that's more than enough cash to get our mochi fruit back. So if you go, let's spin. Okay, our luck's actually looking crazy right now. On our very first 20 spins, we already just got dark fruit as you guys just saw there. So yeah, it's pretty lucky though. Let's keep going. You guys saw that we just got one of the newest fruits in the game. We just got the flower fruit. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is like my first or second time ever getting this flower fruit. And this is actually really rare. I'm actually not sure what its rarity is. But all I know is this is one of the newest fruits in the game. So yeah, once again, our luck's actually looking really good right now. So... Bro, what's your luck right now? Just now, I, I was mentioning my luck. And look at this. We got another dark fruit. Bro. How many mythical fruits are we going to get? But unfortunately... We haven't gotten mochi fruit yet, though. We still have a little bit of cash though. And already, our last five spins, we never got anything. Though those spins were actually really lucky. We got three mythical fruits in total, one flower fruit, and two dark fruits. So, yeah, pretty lucky though. Let's go, Grand Kid. Alright, we're back at Logetown with some cash, so let's spin for the mochi fruit. Okay, I don't know, I just bugged out there. It just like suddenly showed me all the fruits I got in one, like just one second or something. I don't know why. It was just so delayed. That was pretty weird though. Let's continue. We just got another mythical fruit as you guys just saw there we did get a paw fruit so yeah once again we got around two mythical fruits from all those spins but no mochi fruit so let's go back to grinding Back at low town, so let's spin for the mochi fruit. I don't know why we're just so lucky, but unlucky at the same time. If you guys just saw that, we got another mythical fruit. We just got a Buddha fruit, but that's not the mythical fruit we want. All we want is mochi fruit, though. Let's keep going. No much fruit, so yeah, we're gonna go back to Grind Kid. Once again, it's time to spin for the mochi fruit, so yeah, let's do it. I guess that's pretty lucky our very first spin from those 20 spins was actually a paw fruit though yeah and no mochi fruit again
We're back at Logtown and we have 1.6 billion cash. So yeah, let's get the mochi fruit. And look at that, we just got another flower fruit. So another really rare and mythical fruit, but still no mochi fruit. So we're done spinning and sadly, no much fruit, so we're not gonna give up. Let's just go back to grinding. And we're at low time for like the 20th time, so yeah, let's try to get much fruit. Okay, that's actually just insane. You guys saw that. We just got the Magna Fruit and the Buddha Fruit within those 20 spins. And Magna Fruit, if you guys don't know, is the same rarity or rarer than Dragon. So, super rare. And we even got that. But still no Mochi, which is uh, just pretty insane though. Let's continue. Okay, yeah. I don't know why our luck's so bad right now. I mean, it's really good, but it's also bad at the same time. Because we keep getting such rare and good fruits but none of them are mochi unfortunately so yeah let's get back to grinding Alright, so we've grinded some cash, so yeah, let's attempt to spin for the mochi fruit. And yeah, those were probably our unluckiest spins in this entire video because we never got a single good or rare or mythical fruit so yeah let's go back to grinding and it's time to spin again so yeah let's go Bro, we just got another Buddha fruit. I don't know why we just keep getting Buddha fruits and dark fruits, but no mochi fruit. And once again, no mochi fruit. Okay, so here's the thing guys, I have way more than enough fruits to actually trade for the mochi fruit. I don't even know why we kept spinning because yeah, we have so many mythical fruits, we can definitely trade for it. So yeah, we're gonna be trading with Lord Volta here. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so we got it. So yeah, let's remove our dragon fruit, then eat the mochi fruit. So we finally removed our dragon fruit and we finally have the mochi mochi fruit here we go it's time to eat it this thing took so long to get so there we go boom we ate it so let's just fly back to low tunnel and awaken our final move so we're at the gem merchant so yeah let's do this we can finally fully awaken our mochi fruit and there we go guys we just awakened it so now that we've fully awakened our mochi fruit i'm actually not going to showcase it yet because we still need to get katakuri's trident his mogro trident and his scarf so yeah let's go grind for that stuff katakuri's here so let's start farming him
So it's probably getting boring just watching me killing Katakuri over and over again. So I'm just going to put one big time lapse of me just killing Katakuri. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so I just rejoined the game after around like 30-ish minutes of, you know, just grinding Katakuri and first thing I see in my inventory, look at this, we got the candy scarf, it's looking actually pretty nice, I'm probably gonna change my avatar up a little to look a little more like Katakuri though, I'm pretty sure we never got the Mogra Trident yet, and yep, no Mogra Trident. Okay, so huge shout to Easy God Zeus because I'm gonna be trading with him for the Mogra Trident since we weren't able to get it and I really wanna get this video as soon as possible and I'm running out of time to, you know, edit it and all that good stuff, so yeah, I just have to trade for it, I'm sorry about that though, huge shout to Easy God Zeus though, let's do the trade. And there we go, I gave him two flower fruits and a few Buddha fruits, so anyways, we have the Mogra Trident, it's right here, so let's just equip it and check it out. So we're done the trade, and I did actually change my avatar to Katakuri, and it's looking pretty nice, we've got the Mogra Trident as well, so let's quickly just showcase this, so first move, Rapid Jolt, pretty cool, next move, Mochi, Thrust, and boom, there we go, so now let's actually showcase the Awakened Mochi Fruit. Time to showcase the Awakened Mochi Fruit, so first move, Donut Punch, Teleport to anyone near you, and boom, slam him down with a Mochi Punch, and does do a pretty cool Conqueror's Hockey Clash thingy effect at the end. Next move, Mochi Bullets, you shoot these Mochi Bullets, and look, it's even raining Mochi everywhere, pretty cool. And the next move, Shower, Mochi, you flap in the air, and boom, so the move suggests you shower the opponent with Mochi, and it's pretty OP. And the final move, the ultimate move, Mochi, Ground Destroyer, so you, so you shoot up this little thing, and boom, huge Mochi floor, and it does a huge Mochi Power Gatling, or Power Mochi Gatling, whatever you call it, and the final move is just a mobility move, Donut Roll, it's actually pretty cool, look at this, pretty cool, not gonna lie, and look, you can even go in the water, there's a little Mochi effect on the back, and yeah, pretty cool fruit overall, anyways, there you guys go, we've become Awakened Katakuri in One Piece Game on Roblox, hopefully you guys enjoyed, Hit that like button and subscribe and thank you guys so so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.